Okay, this is a 46RE or 518 transmission out of a 2001 Dodge Ram uh, 1500. Now, the reason I'm showing you this because there has been more than more people than I could have imagined that has never seen what would happen if transmission fluid mixes with antifreeze. That's when the the internal part of the radiator uh, breaks and causes antifreeze to mix with transmission fluid. Well, here's what it looks like. Here's a transmission that is full of antifreeze and uh, transmission fluid. When that happens, you take the whole transmission out and you should change every plastic part in there, every seal, and every clutch that's in there. When water contaminates the clutches, they start to peel and inflate. When it um, contaminates the seals, they start to swell. And plastic, it causes them to swell also. Why it causes the plastic to swell, that I don't know. All the gaskets begin to break down, and then channels start to cross leak. So when you have an issue like this, the best thing, you take it out. Flushing it is not going to do it. You have some, a lot of this is inside the torque converter. The torque converter holds about five quarts of fluid itself and it would be this mixture inside there. And the damage for the most part would have already been done. If you look down here, you see on the table here, right here this is antifreeze, right there mixed in with it, these little dots right there, green dots of antifreeze. Okay, so for those of you who have never seen a transmission mixed with antifreeze and what it looks like, this is what it looks like. Milkshake. A pink milkshake.